Hey yeah, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is a new hope, and before we kick into too much of the gameplay here, I do want to have a little bit of a mod chat. First of all, I did a bunch of tests in, before starting this episode on Camera Plus and the highlighting mode. I'm running Camera Plus again over here. Um, and we did run into an issue where shamblers weren't being highlighted. Now, it turns out we we can sort of deal with it. You might notice here, as I zoom out, if you look at the pawns, right, if we're close enough, we can see the image of the characters, right? Their actual sprites are here. And if we zoom out, there is a zoom level over here where the sprites disappear. And then Camera Plus's highlight mode takes over, which replaces our pawns with white dots. If I zoom out all the way to the max, um, well, it's a little less obvious with them. It's more obvious with the animals here. So you can see animal graphics. Well, I mean, you can barely see them, but animal graphics. Zoom out here, we get a hollow square. This is the camera plus highlighting. And if I zoom out all the way, then RimWorld's new built-in highlighting, which is over here, takes over. And if we have shamblers on the map, so camera plus doesn't have a highlight graphic, a highlight icon for shamblers for whatever reason. Um, however the code works, they're not in the normal pool, I guess, of hostile creatures, so they don't get an automatic red dot from Camera Plus. But if I do zoom out all the way, the in the new in-game highlighting takes over, and we do get red dots for shambling, shamblers at that point. I tested out by uh, dev mode by spawning some shamblers and confirming it does show up there. So it means I can run Camera Plus, which I like because I love being able to zoom out, so we get a full sense of our area. I think this is... I think this is great. I love this really high level zoom, but if we need to be able to detect shamblers, we keep, need to keep track of them, we just have to make sure we zoom all the way out. So um, that has been addressed. We put camera plus back in. And while we're at it, I decided to re-add um, the uh, two other mods that I absolutely adore that don't change the gameplay. I've got Rim HUD running again. I just love to be able to see all of our characters stuff at a glance without having to hit the bio needs button. Makes it a lot easier to quickly cycle through everyone, see how everyone is doing, and also remind myself what skills anyone might have. Um, and also, oh, the allow tool I put back in. Yeah, the allow tool doesn't let you do anything that you can't do normally. It just saves you a lot of clicks or eyeballs, uh, which is gonna be just really handy. So I've gone ahead and done that. I'm just gonna enjoy myself a lot more with those two mods back in, but that is all. And none of them change any actual gameplay. Zach, is that his tattered apparel? Oh, you're a visitor. That's why. I'm like, how come? What's going on here, buddy? Actually, it's been a couple of days since I recorded. I can't even remember what we've got going on for some of our quest work sites. The drifters. Wait, who is? We don't have a quest for Zach. All right, ship the stars. Oh, it, it is this one. Okay, for some reason that the drifters, I thought these were the people begging for money. It doesn't specify the name yet. They will work and fight for free. It doesn't actually list who our people are here, but I guess it's they is just Zach. Just a singular. Oh, and Minyoka? You don't have a symbol. <gasps> did this person offer to join us? Again, it's been a couple of days since I recorded. I think that we did have two people as part of this event, but Minyoka already offered to join us. That was the deal. Okay. Hope conversion powers are offline. That's fine. We're working on our new marble chest table, which is great. Our wall over here is, it's gonna take a little longer to walk, to do because of the long walk involved, right? There's there's some extra transportation time over here, which sort of sucks. So that's one of the things with like grabbing a large space is your time efficiency goes down dramatically. But we don't actually have to build that much wall, which is nice. So I think it's okay to do this. Oh, protected an ancient mech. Yeah, Mechanator is going to be fun to play with as well. Oh, I did play a little on my own as well and confirmed that if you don't poke the ancient monolith over here, or fallen monolith, if you don't start that, you don't get the real anomaly events. Things like shamblers are just part of the regular sort of raid alternatives that you can get, but the real anomaly events don't happen at all until you poke the monolith. So you can choose whether or not you're engaging with those mechanics, minus the fact that shamblers can exist, but that's fine, it's, you know. Uh, I mean, it might be less fine if we get like the massive super shambler raid that just goes for after all our walls, but we'll see. Okay, solar panel is up. What do I want to research next? I mean, I love myself my devil strand. Of course, going smithing into machining for some combination of flak armor and weapons is pretty key. I think I have to do that before I start to do devil strand stuff. Although we have all this fertile terrain 
I mean, oh, hold on. What am I talking about? Devil's Strand is a microscopic research, right? At 800, especially when you add up everything else. I mean, Devil's Strand is about the same as Smithing by itself, and Smithing by itself doesn't really give us anything tremendous. It unlocks maces, which is nice. Look at uranium. I think uranium shows up as a pinkish kind of color with our colorblind mod. Yeah, right over there. Hmm. Okay, well, as soon as we get smithing, we'll probably make a couple of uranium maces. Three uranium maces? I think Smogger's gonna get a weapon. Well, and Zack is temporary. So maybe Smogger, I, a weapon, I mean, uh, range weapon. But maybe Smogger does stay melee. Because it's nice to have a couple to block a doorway. Although that's gonna become less important as we do develop our actual little defensive kill box kind of plan over here. So we'll see. It's probably a good idea to make a couple of uranium maces. Long term, Smogger might switch to the shooting instead, but we'll see. The deserter. You know, I don't think I wanna go for royal titles in this run. We might just choose to go to war with the Empire. Now, the Empire, going to war with them is kind of annoying because a lot of their dudes have um, death acidifiers, right? I don't I don't know if they all have it. It might depend on the type of raid, but a lot of them have it, which, I mean, it's fair because they do show up with a lot of really strong stuff. Um, and a lot of it, maybe maybe it's less that the, maybe it's less about the acidifiers, maybe it's more about the bio-coated stuff. So a lot of times with the Imperial raids, you don't actually get to take advantage of what they bring, which does suck. Uh, we're gonna do another convert action over here. Sorry, it's a long walk. I guess I could have maybe done a shift click or something so you could finish the job, but did that anyway. Um, but the Neuroformers, I've never really played around with using them, but I'm considering it. We don't have to choose right away. We got something like six days, I think it was for that quest. We can consider that. I don't remember, on this map, where was the animatry? I think it was way out of the way, right? Yeah, way out of the way. Which is convenient to not be in our way, but inconvenient if we did want to do... I mean, obviously it depends on the um, backgrounds, but if we get anyone who would do nature meditation, we could keep some psychic powers with that. I don't know. Maybe we'll just mostly be leaning into the the, the void powers. And yeah, this isn't the closest. It's not the end of the world. What I might end up doing is kind of extending a little wall that goes kind of like this so that people could safely walk to the monolith and do that. I mean, we I wouldn't consider that the internal to our base necessarily, but it would give us casual protection from just a random animal going man hunting or something like that. So maybe we'll we'll consider something of that nature. All right, taming the horses, which is great. Now, yeah. I don't think okay, so not all the um not all the dandelion has been planted. Also, shout out to was it that linked me the priority mod? I think I said, oh, there must be a mod for it. And it's true. Uh, Darv Torman posted to me a link about growing zone priorities. If we want to make sure, you know, the food crops are growing at a high priority and the dandelions are a little lower, something like that. Um, am I growing hay? Fibercorn. Hay. Um, I did, uh, did play around with uh, the fibercorn. So the yield isn't huge on this fibercorn, but it's a little steady. I think trees... Well, trees, I think it's the rice versus corn thing all over again, right? If we planted trees, when we do harvest the trees, we get huge amounts of yield, but they take a long time to, to grow. So they're not very labor intensive. The fiber corn's got a fairly short turnaround, uh, six days over here. But yeah, harvest yield of two. It doesn't give you a ton of wood, but it will keep a trickle going in for us just to supply a few things. We might expand our fiber corn growing. We will see. Manyoka, why are you so unhappy? Oh, I mean, the conversions, you've got the wrong religion. Yeah, okay, that's a huge problem. The unsightly barrack is also a little annoying. I'm wondering, should we have prioritized getting a little bit of flooring in here? And we'll probably just do the concrete thing for ease. We might end up chopping this down into smaller sizes later to, for, to do pretty things, but for now we're okay. Um, just putting concrete down here changes the beauty per tile from minus three to minus one, which does do a good boost to the average of the barracks increasing its beauty also it adds some more wealth just by building it now it's fairly cheap but it does add and it should bring the barracks up from dull to probably i don't know what it is at 50 is it not impressive yet at that point is it fine i don't remember what, what the levels are called but it probably would be enough to bring us up at least one extra level in fact it might do too because between the combination of the average beauty going up and the wealth going up um which would be interesting a little disappointed that this stuck in 
a little bit more. I think it's because of the wooden wall, right? I'd mis misalign this. Yeah. If I could move this, I would put it back one step. Of course, there's a mod called Minify Anything that lets you move everything. Okay. See, that's what I'm talking about with the little safety things. So we're being hunted. Oh, way over there. I don't... Okay, we're not going to have the door up. I was going to say, wow, we might even get this wall up in time. So it doesn't matter. But that's not the case. I think I will go ahead and engage the cougar. We're going to pull back a little. The cougar should still be coming. And it is. Um, We should set up a... Oh, I do kind of wish I had the numbers mod. See? You start adding mods and you're like, oh, more. Move speed, 4.6. Move speed, 4.6. Okay, all these guys are the same rate. Um, Zach is our most expendable because he's actually not a full-time member of our party. Okay, vengeance mode, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, chase Zach. Chase Zach. Round and round we go. It'd be great if you took, there you go. A, a thing that debuffed your speed, keep chasing Zach. Nice, okay. I've gotten a lot better at kiting. Mostly the willingness to do it. Like, let's give it a try and see what happens. The boom rat makes me a little nervous, but so be it. We do have a butcher table, right? Right? That's a butcher table there. Yeah, okay. Good. Bring the rice in. That's fine. Chunks of spacecraft. Right in our base, too. That's convenient. Is there anything I could do for you, like, short term here? Apparently, you hate the nutrient paste. You're getting converted. <sighs> and rebuffed by hope. That's actually kind of annoying. Can we can we stack some more rituals? Is this for... Oh, that is for us. I don't have enough wood. Okay, well, that's kind of a problem. Well, hey, good news. We've got our harvest fully grown again. I've talked about it before. We can, of course, go and for every tree, click on it and see, okay, it's ready to harvest. Good. That is fully grown, maximum yield. I appreciate that. But obviously, it's too much of a pain in the butt to do normally in the game. But with the harvest fully grown, and I do think it should probably be included in the base game. I'm going to hold control to only do trees. Yeah, there's really not a lot. But we'll go and harvest all of those. Um, yeah, plant cut. I'm going to throw some just priority plant cut on a few more. And then we'll try to do the ritual here. Some of it needs to get used for those doors, too. Walked all the way out here, and then you're going to relax socially. Why don't you go and cut down one more tree, buddy? Since you're here. And then I'm going to need you to prioritize hauling, because you'll grab both of those and bring them in. That actually might be enough wood for a ritual. Oh, yeah, the cactus planting. One's asleep, which is good. You can't have a mood break while you sleep. And then I wonder if I click on this. There you go. We must have enough wood. I don't know if it says anywhere. I mean, it says four wood here, but I was going to say, does it give us a total? Maybe we can map that up and then compare to what we've got stored up. But it's not necessarily wooden storage, too. It's just wood available on the map. All right, everyone have a good night's sleep. And it's nice I don't have to click further. Okay, sleep's about to be satisfied for at least you. Yeah, there should mostly be getting up. Okay, so before everyone goes off on the map, let's go and do this industrial jubilee. You might even get a new recruit out of this. Mostly it's about... I, I'm hoping that anyone who participates... Yeah, anyone who participates will go and get the mood boost. They don't have to be of the same ideology. Of course, this is my, my bot who might get a minus one out of it. I'm happy about the knife. That's at least good. Okay. Good, another beautiful one and a wanderer. So we're going to accept. If lifts turns out to be crap, they might have a little bit of an accent before they walk to the base. No health problems. Kind is nice because you do have good social interactions. Trigger happy is actually pretty strong. It's actually, I think, generally considered to be more of a positive than a negative. You also have double passion for melee, so you could just be stabbing people for now, which we could consider. Great planting scale, which we do have a decent amount of planters in the base. But yeah, Liz is a, Liz is a, win, a winner. Congratulations. Welcome to the party. I mean, you're not great at doctoring. We still don't have a proper doctor, but I will go ahead and enable that. 
Oh, right, I got Hall Plus as a job now because we've got the allow tool. Sure, I guess we'll do the thing where we just max that out some more. That's going to be fine. All right, cooking's turned on for everyone just as a quick little butchering. We could just have Gomp do it because of the passion and eventually you'd grow, but you get crap skill. Like, it doesn't matter. Grow, plant cut. Maybe I'll leave the plant cut to a one. Just quickly chop down those trees when we need it out of desperation. But yeah, no, that's really good. Is Zach doing a little research for us? We'll get our... um. We'll get our shelving up at some point. Probably not a wood, out of wood. We'll probably make it out of stone. Which is a little annoying, because, like, obviously we're kind of wood-limited on this map. So making out of stone might make some sense, although then we do also have to cut the things first, like the, wood, the stone cutters. What are you going to do? Yeah, we still need to go and cut down those trees, because we need enough wood for the doors. We could be making steel doors. And maybe I should. Maybe, you know, beds, uh, wooden beds and steel beds both have the... Um, the base rest affection effectiveness of 100%. As far as I can tell, I guess the easiest way to do it is in the construction because then it uh, doesn't have any quality rating. Furniture, bed. We look at this. So there we go. Steel bed, 100%. Wooden bed, 100%. If we compare it to any stone, it's only 90% rest effectiveness. So we don't want stone beds. Not for our people. You can use it for prisoners. The advantage there is the prisoners spend longer sleeping, so they're less likely to cause problems. But, so we could be going for steel beds. Um, but steel's not a renewable resource. Well, I mean, I suppose once we get the deep drills, it kind of is. But it feels bad to make things out of steel. I don't know, maybe we'll make a few more things out of steel than I normally do. Maybe these, if I want... No, the research bench can be made out of uh, stone. That's good. Dining chairs can't be made out of stone. They could be made out of steel. I guess that's why I built these stools, which are not as comfortable. But we'll make do for now. Um, okay, we only have one unused bed. Also, I don't have a dresser yet. Yeah, I should build a dresser. Back of marble, please. Put it here in the middle. And I think what I'll do is I'll probably start another group of beds over here, just... So it's ready to go. I mean, we have one temporary person who will leave. I mean, I'm just thinking just, you know, ahead of the next group of people. Plus, we could go and build a stack of beds, then deconstruct the ones that are only normal quality, assuming we get better quality. All right, so that's the Devil Strand. We're going to go up smithing, machining, try to get our flak armor and guns. And let's go ahead. It's raining, but it's not, it's not an event, right? We don't have the foggy rain force this time. I don't think. So, this might be an excessive amount of double strand. Or it might be way too little. It takes such a long time to grow. Mostly I just want it for dusters. You could make extra du double strand dusters to sell as well. I think that's going to be fine right here. Now, this is a cotton, which is quite a lot, which is okay. Do I want to grow... Oh, no, I do have two heal roots. Okay. Let's say that doesn't seem like enough heal root. Do we need more psychoid? Food seems to be stable. We can't get, like, trend lines for our food, right? What game just added trends? Oh, I'm thinking of Against the Storm. Yeah, it would be nice to track the food numbers. Are they going up, going down? I think the food might be still on its way up, generally speaking. Check the nutrition over here. It's still not great. Hmm. Your power's up. I gotta keep trying to convert Minyoka, even though it's making them upset. I guess I could wait until you brought the wooden. Again, I could have shift queued the job, but oh well. Okay, we are getting a rice harvest now. Yeah, food is definitely in good shape. I wonder if I should grow some more psychoid. I mean, I don't necessarily need it now. We have a... Okay, we do have a cooker here, a stove, with the psychite tea. Um, oh, I might have wanted to look into survival meals. Or pemmican. 
nah, this is okay. Oh, social fight. Rude. Okay. Earth quality. Oh, I can set this one, Liz. Now, Farmer's List hasn't been updated to 1.5 and apparently might have some issues, at least last time I checked. We could use Smarter Medicine, which is another mod people use to make it so that people don't use, like, Glitter World Medicine to deal with a bruise without having to micromanage. I guess I should build that solar panel. I'm gonna build it over here. I think that's probably fine. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just gonna extend the hidden conduit here. Because right now, like if this was on, the power would flow through the wind turbine into our base, but if anything were to break down the wind turbine, then the power from the solar generator would work. And yeah, between these two, maybe building one more battery, uh, we don't need the, the one more battery right now, but soon maybe throw in one more battery. We're going to be very stable on power for a really, really long time. Which is good okay, uh, yeah, disabled sewing on this. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that zone. So we are... Oh, are we done this wall? Okay, everything is... That's automatically sealed in. That's sealed in the top. Okay, I don't have, like, a proper... Oh, do I... Hmm. I'm trying to decide when to floor this. I don't know if we go around through the trouble of building everything about our kill box, but we might want our tunnel with traps in place. Plan on deconstructing this. I suppose I will feel a lot better and a lot safer. Is this part of a danger zone? And that might be curious. Okay, let's sandstone walls. Some amount here, and we'll plan a gap sort of here for our engagement. That's gonna be all right. Okay, to so do that, mm, home zone. Okay, okay. Chicka, 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 and I guess I'll include this in the home zone and claim this tile so that we will repair that and keep that going. Okay. And yeah, there are things that they can target, like they'll see there's going to be a path over here to some high value targets this way, so it should encourage them to funnel here rather than just randomly bash a wall, which is good to see. Temperature outside, 26. I could consider leaving these doors open. I mean, we want it below 25 so we don't get the slept in the heat thing, but we might, even with a door open, we might be okay. But yeah, we'll get that started. And then I guess I can go ahead and plan the second part of this wall immediately as well. Then once it's, once both those are up, I'll set up the structure with the traps. No point in laying down the traps until then. Okay, Devil Strand is a go. When we, we do have extra planters, so we can actually support quite a lot of growing. Once we get this, oh, hold on. Um, door and probably a door over there. Maybe I'll make these out of steel. Just cause they, well, I was gonna say, this is an area more likely to get encountered by enemies. Fleeing enemies will try to bash through the door, which it'll take longer with steel doors. On the other hand, then we're having to replace steel, which again is non-renewable. Despite the general wood shortage, I'm gonna go for the wooden doors. A little bit of trees have been planted. Visitor, a few items to trade. Maybe. Hope it's actually a little board. Let's do a little trade here and maybe I should go and get the uh, flooring in. Okay, we don't have much in the way of silver. So this tech print's not really viable. I would love these reinforced barrels. I could sell some of the psych IT. Sell like half. I think probably what we have to do is just buy the components. We just don't have the means to do anything else. And of course, components are always going to be extremely desirable. Zach is cranky. Yeah. Also insulted. That's not ideal. Okay, a little education. I should maybe get some extra 
blackboard setup. I guess, oh, this is when our, our space is only this big. This was pre-expanding our space here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do a move. I'm gonna put it right over here. Maybe, maybe back over here by the beds? No, here. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna reinstall this one here. Then I'm gonna build copy, copy. Reinstall you here. Good. Okay. Gift of 95 silver. Thank you. I guess we got a refund for our, our trade. Just to boost the education stuff. Um, how, That's a construction job. What order do they do things in? It's broken down. Uninstall. Build roof from roof roof. Construct placed frames. Deliver. Fill in. I don't think it's a hauling. Oh, Gomp, you know what? I can put you back on construction. Since we have an extra grower, I think we can do that. It's fine if you construct before you grow now. I mean, you don't have as much construction skill, but we do have a lot of things queued up. So you're building sandstone walls. Yeah, see, what I'm going to get you to do is prioritize. Let's move this stuff first. You don't have to necessarily prioritize building the others, but let's get this stuff moved immediately. Because what would suck is if it got half moved and then education were going on and it wasn't being very effective about it. Is that a good trader from Alba? I don't know that that's going to open up a lot of options for us, but we'll see. For symmetry, part of me is like, it'd be great to put the cooking table here, but that would block this door, which might not be a door we want to use later. Right again, once this becomes a freezer. And for now, people can always can still go through that. You know what? I will do this. So let's send out Hope to have a chat, just in case anything is differently available. We could sell our horses. That's actually not a terrible idea. We'll leave one mare, one female horse. Jump packs, gene pack stuff is very appealing. Some books. This actually trains intellectual. This trains crafting. But I feel like we should at least do the components. We do have enough after. This is a good quality book. Trains crafting up to level 10. Slightly short. Damn, the only thing I could do is sell it. Well, I guess I could just take one less component. There we go. That suits me fine. I don't believe we have a book shelf. Let's build one. Okay, editor panel, maybe we're risk on Zach. How much longer does Zach have to be around? 5.3 days. Okay. All right, it's coming together. We're gonna ask for a haul on that stuff. Actually, these rocks as well. If someone gets around to some hauling, we need all this stuff cleared out of this area at some point, so we'll go and put a little hint. Thanks, Manioka. Much appreciated. Uh, I only have the one block cutting table. Let's get a second one going. Oh, actually, can this be made out of different material? Stone cutters. We do have some blocks. I guess you can't make these out of blocks themselves. All right, so we'll just make it out of wood. Which may or may not be the right the right solution here. Yeah, these horses are going to get hungry. Maybe it's a good thing that we brought down their numbers. We got a high priority haul over here. Of course, you, you don't need high priority haul because you can just select someone, right click on the thing, tell them to move it, and that'll work fine. We will deconstruct this, but there's no reason to rush this. We don't need these components currently. It's just going to add more wealth. I don't think these count as wealth. I think anything that's claimable might, like if there's wall sections and stuff, it actually, I thought it didn't, but um, I think I saw a video where someone had done some calculations and realized that it would count as wealth. So with that in mind, what we could do is put a deconstruction over here. If it's already counting as value for it, let's deconstruct it and at least get that steel to be a resource we can use. Since so we're not sitting on infinite amounts right now, although it's plenty that's mineable. Okay, this is coming along okay. So the idea here, and in preparation, we are going to have them funnel a little bit more. I'm going to extend this a little bit. Then we're going to go security... Barricade out of sandstone. We'll do something like that. 
And then let me put a pause here. Actually, I installed, hold on. I installed the planning mod, uh, plan on the fly, it's called. Oh, party. If I toggle this on, now any construction I'm going to do is going to be set to forbidden by default. Hold on. Normally with the, the trap tunnel, we make that on a wood because we have infinite wood. Do we make them out of steel? I, I think we still make them out of wood. And maybe we plant more fiber corn slash more trees. It's put to forbidden automatically. Give you a little mod. Then I can, I don't have to worry about pausing the game. There we go. Okay. We'll do that. And actually I'm realizing I'm, I still don't want a door to be able to access this tunnel a little bit more easily. I'm going to throw one in here. Actually, I'm going to throw in and, and on the other side, we want fence. And then a little double fence here just to stop random wild animals from walking in here and um, hitting some traps when we don't want it. Okay, and then the other thing is because I've got the allow tool, if I go allow selection like this, it'll allow construction. Whereas the built-in allow, click and drag, box select, will only allow or forbid items. It doesn't allow or forbid construction, which in this case seems, seems very handy to have this. Zach tried to convert smogger. Yeah, please don't do that. That's not appreciated. Okay, deserter. So I'm still thinking about... I'm going to not do this, because I might decide to go... I might decide to go royalty in the end. So I don't want to go and ruin that relationship yet. We can always... Get, we can get new reformers in a few different ways. I think one of the things we can get new reformers in is ancient complexes. So one thing we can do with our ideology here is when we do our reform, because this is our fluid run, right? Yeah, we're actually halfway to our reform if we want. Um, we're going to redo our rituals at some point because I'm going to want to do things in a cool temple because it's going to look nice and we can get more powerful effects. If nothing else, I'm going to want access to a very powerful conversion ritual, which necessitates a temple. And then if you've got a fancy temple, you may as well change your rituals to be temple rific. Um, so we might still have some rituals that are for recruiting people but we might switch some of them to discover ancient complexes. So we've just finished the smithing tech, which is fine. Again, we might put the smithing table down early and we might use it to make some maces. I suppose it wouldn't be the dumbest thing. Where was that? Right over here. The uranium is really close. I don't know how much we need. I don't think we have to mine out this entire, this entire section. So we'll take a little trim of uranium off there and it will put down uh, electric smithy. And yeah, these... Oh, well, we're still on plan on the fly mode. Let me turn that off because that's not what I necessarily want to default. We're going to put that down there and we will go and craft a couple of uranium maces. Uh, yeah, and I think that's going to be plenty. I think we're going to be migrating more of these people over to range weapons, so that's going to be fine. Okay, thanks a lot for watching another episode, folks. We're going to wrap it up here and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.